I represent a Google search partner, Extended Content Solutions, uh, otherwise known as uh, ECS. Uh, we've actually been working with Matt and NHS Choices uh, and a number of other partners uh, to make finding information as simple and intuitive as possible. So what I'm going to do is show you a very brief uh, demo of the Google Search Appliance uh, and our uh, Edge platform uh, using some of uh, the NHS choice data. Just before I start, uh, what's our view of search today? Well, it's very clear we're all working with increasing volumes of information. Uh, the variety and sources of information, uh, the velocity that this information hits us, all these things are coming together and overwhelming us when we're trying to make sense of information and find information. Uh, our philosophy is bring together multiple sources of information into a single view and allow people to find information in a way that they understand it and give users related information in the context of what they're searching for. So I'm going to jump straight into the demo now. If, uh, thank you. Now, one quick uh, caveat. Uh, we've ingested a subset of NHS data here. Uh, it is only a small set of advice and service uh, uh, data, and as you'll see, it's primarily uh, dental focused. Now, there's a certain irony with me uh, uh, standing up here this morning because actually I was supposed to be visiting the dentist. So, uh, I had the choice today of either visiting the dentist or standing up here and speaking in public. So uh, I chose to be here. I don't know what that says. But I know that uh, if I had gone to the dentist, I would be getting the usual lecture on uh, tooth decay. So I'm going to go in here and search on tooth decay. Okay, I've searched on tooth decay. Uh, what am I presented with? Well, on the left-hand side, I can see uh, an information tab, and it's showing me a number of results referring to uh, news, uh, conditions, videos uh, related to my, my search. Uh, with each result, I can see a short description, and I can also see a content snippet that relates to what I was searching for. Uh, on the condition results, so the second one down in particular, you can see that we've pulled out a number of uh, uh, key uh, subject headings uh, and linked those to the relevant content. So I guess in my case, I should probably be going in to look at uh, causes of tooth decay and uh, I won't have to visit the dentist. Now, over on the right-hand side, I can see a data panel relating to my search context. Now, what this is showing me is information relating to tooth decay. Now, you'll see this hopefully chimes in nicely with what uh, Matt has just been show showing you. But we see a number of videos relating to uh, tooth decay. You'll see it's called uh, dental caries for the uh, more classically minded of you. Uh, that is uh, uh, tooth decay. We get a brief description, uh, the ability to click through to view more information about uh, the condition. And we have a number of related links below this. Uh, these are links either to other assets on the NHS Choices uh, site, uh, as well as some links to uh, 
external sources. So this is pulling in NHS choices data in the context of where we're searching. Now, if I go to the uh, services tab, I'm again on the left seeing a number of search results. Now, on the right hand side, we can see another contextual data panel. What is this showing us? Well, we've searched for tooth decay. The results that have come back predominantly relate to dental services. In addition, we have location services switched on, so it knows that we're in central London. So it's brought back a data panel relating to some dental services uh, against our location here. Uh, please excuse the paucity of uh, uh, data in there. There are more dental services in central London than uh, uh, you're seeing there, or I hope there are. Now, as you can see, this is trying to reflect uh, the vision that Matt has for NHS uh, choices. The, uh, there are a couple of important aspects for me. The, uh, obviously, Matt's site is focused uh, largely on the consumer audience. He's particularly interested in giving users a simple uh, search experience uh, so that they can get at the information that they're after uh, without confusing them. Uh, what I want to do though is actually take this uh, a little stage further uh, and show you some other features which you could use to help you find information. So I've just changed my view slightly and you'll notice that uh, uh, on the left-hand side, I'm now seeing a filter panel, which gives me a uh, number of um, uh, ways that I can refine my search uh, further uh, by giving it some context. And uh, you can see, by example, we have a number of uh, uh, dental services that relate to the content we have here, uh, as well as um, uh, the types of content, and uh, also PCT, which is Primary Care Trust, which uh, uh, for those of you in the know, actually no longer exist, but that's the uh, data we're working with here. If I go in and uh, select a particular service, you can see that very quickly, I'm narrowing down the search results, okay? Uh, we can also use uh, data visualizations to navigate through this information. Um, we have one here, which is uh, uh, known by our guys as the uh, bouncing balls animation, so I hope it doesn't make you sick. Um, essentially, this is showing me a view of all the uh, for the results that are returned, all the PCTs it relates to. I've obviously selected one service, so it's just content for uh, Lambeth PCT. Obviously, if I unselect the service and I'm zooming out to see all the content across London, you can see there are a number of other London-based uh, PCTs uh, that appear. Now, we're obviously looking at London-related uh, information uh, here. If I actually uh, disable the location services, a number of things happen. Uh, you'll see our data panel on the right has disappeared because we're no longer specifically looking at a locality. Uh, you'll see that the content we're looking at has zoomed out to actually show us content relating across the whole of uh, England. And on the left-hand side, we've got a new context that's appeared uh, called uh, locality. So 
I can, having zoomed out, I can choose to uh, <coughs> narrow down the data further. So I've selected Manchester. So I'm again just looking at data that relates to the Manchester area. And on the right hand side, we've got a data panel appearing again, which is showing dental services uh, against the locality that I've selected. Okay, so that's really just a, a quick demo of what's possible. Uh, we're pulling together, uh, as I say, NHS choices content and data and pulling it together in a, uh, in, in a context. Uh, and I hope you can see that there are a number of options available there, a number of ways that you can uh, surface the information and navigate through the information to find what you're after. Uh, so I hope that's given you a view of what the Google search appliance, search platform can do. Um, and perhaps uh, for a lot of you, it'll take you away from the traditional view that you've had that a Google search appliance is something you put in your organization and it gives you a bunch of uh, uh, blue links and you hope the first link in your results is the one that you want. Uh, the key message for me is you can provide a compelling search experience in one view or one dashboard. Uh, the, I mean, picking up on something that, uh, that Matt said earlier is that actually if you make the search experience immersive enough, you can actually use this as your interface onto the information. Uh, the other thing for me is uh, allow people to find information in the way that they understand. Now, the, the great thing here is uh, we are obviously using some intelligence to pull in uh, data on the right-hand side. But on the left, uh, you're seeing a number, of, a number of facets or contexts for your searching. But you can offer different facets to different roles, depending on who's actually looking at this information. You can almost build a business model of your organization and then allow people to navigate the information in the way that they understand it. Thank you very much.